Well, new perk, too young to die. Hey, we can do easy mode. Maybe I'll do easy mode, flight mode, and... Apparently, Andy thought magnetized loot was a good thing. I don't know what that achievement does. So, we're going back to the foyer, and with any luck, we'll be able to unlock us the... I think it's the Blatherskite crossbow? Okay, so ignore the uh, messages on the screen. I want to see what that achievement does. Actually, I have no idea if uh, the recording pick program picks this up. But, I want to figure out what the, the achievement I just got was. Kill over 350 mobs in a single level. Huh. Oh, complete a, complete a stage without picking up anything. Cool. Let's go. Because, realistically, if I can get my hands on the Blatherskite crossbow, we are going to uh, at least have achieved something in all of this. I guess we did get too young to die somehow. For the life of me, I actually have no idea what the criteria was to get too young to die. I was not paying attention because it's one of those perks that I almost never use. Because, well, why use the thing that makes the game easier? That's just boring. Apparently I already came over here and my memory is already just broken. Anyway, uh, no way I'm going to be able to get to either of those secret areas. So let's just keep going through, see what we've got over here. We've got a couple of those things, a couple of these things. Not a whole lot of threatening. And portable orbital laser, I think needs a little bit of rebalancing. Maybe I could be wrong about that, but hey. So we're back up to weapon level 5. Our health is kind of doing okay. Eh, yeah, I think this is going to be... I, I think this is going to be successful. Chances are I'm not going to be able to make it, you know, farther than... I don't know. I mean, if we, if we can make it to the mall, I'll be happy, but... I don't know. My, my confidence may be a little low. Maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. Uh, but it, it's definitely one of those where it's just like, I did not expect we'd get this far, and now I just have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So. If I remember right, there are several secrets in this level now. Hey, luck plus plus. Can't complain about that. For some reason, I thought the, uh, portable orbital laser. Hello, jump height. There we go. Something I've been asking for for a very long time. Let's pick this up, just because we're here. Our health is good. Uh, could be a little bit better. Blue XP is pretty much maxed out. Now it is maxed out. Don't want to get the difficulty plus plus. None of those are health pickups, or at least very peasly amounts of. So let's just go up, dodge all the shots, dodge all of the shots. Hey, got, at least got those. Okay. And it looks like there are a couple of bomb bots still down and around. Oh. Don't want to fall off yet. I got shit to do. Now, we do have the one singular secret area up in, like, that place. Uh, it's always, always a bit of a mixed bag game getting up there. I, I always feel like I'm just going to bomb it entirely. And usually I actually, I wouldn't say bomb it, but I usually do end up falling uh, semi-painfully. Anyway, let's get over here, grab this stuff. It's not a secret area. What do we got down here? Just health? Well, there's not a whole lot of reason for me to go after that thing if it's just health. But there's one other secret area that uh, discovered recently-ish. I think I've shown this off on camera. Almost nothing here. In fact, none of that was even remotely useful, but we did it. Let's go. I'm actually really hungry. Uh, uh, earlier today, I was recording a Minecraft UHC, and then everything failed. But uh, you don't eat when you're doing a UHC, so I have not eaten. At least we're gonna beat the foyer. This is gonna be damn easy, especially with Mama Spinbot. Probably should not be uh, shooting upwards while falling down with the 609mm cannon. That's how you take more falling damage than you want to take. Fortunately, my bullets fly super slowly, which is a bit annoying. I feel like I should try and go back up to the second level, but hey, let's mostly focus on taking out Mama Spinbot in this situation, because the sooner she's dead, the sooner we potentially get some nice stuff from her. The answer is... Thread derailer, I believe. Kind of hard, hard to tell per... Yeah. I'm about to sneeze. I really don't want to sneeze. Especially not on camera. Okay. Did manage to smudge my glasses, though, which is a bit of a problem. And yes, uh, I admit, I do, in fact, wear glasses. I don't know if that actually matters to people. I can't imagine it does. Most people wear glasses nowadays, I think. Especially if you factor in the old. <laughs> the old. The best way to generalize old people. Call them the old. Yep, okay, so now we've got our mobility problem solved. A little bit more speed might be nice. Armor would be nice. 
and a better weapon mod would be nice. But otherwise, actually, we're doing okay. Uh, could use more stuff, but you know what? Greed is a thing. Only found half the secrets there. I guess the other one would have been hopping down that uh, chute, and there was nothing there except for health, and didn't need health. Okay, going to the foundry. Why did I pick up the thread derailer? <laughs> Come to think of it, I was just like, hey, it's the thread derailer. And then I remembered the thre thread derailer is like the most useless item, I think. I, I guess the goggles are pretty useless. Maybe the thread derailer does something. Let's derail the shit out of these threads. Nope, not blocking shots, not killing anything. I guess it's just cats. Well, you know what? When in Rome, cats. Speaking of, uh, I think I've mentioned this in the past, but uh, I actually lived in Croatia for a couple of months. Cool place. Uh, if you live in Croatia, shout out to you. I doubt there are many people that watch Let's Plays in there. Didn't seem like the crowd was particularly into video games. It seemed like uh, a lot of the people I went to school with there were uh, very much into drinking and somewhat into drugs though that uh that country really cracks down on their uh drug usage and dealing i think yep okay once again the train i don't even know if you guys can actually hear it usually i'm pretty good at ending the footage but it's also one of those where bah, why not just end the footage make sure there isn't like really loud choo choo noises in the background and that way everyone is happy including me I like being happy. Happy is fun. Speaking of happy, uh, yeah, yeah, so we, we did the UHC. I've never actually been that much of a Minecraft guy. Like, it's kind of fun, but the problem is I have, like, I have a certain tolerance for, like, grinding and digging and stuff in that game, but after a certain point, it's just, like, I really want to just, like, okay, fine. I have enough iron. I have enough diamond for things, but then it breaks, and it's just, like, well, this, hmm. Thought for a second I'd have to, uh, go swimming. Ah, shit. Well, luckily it managed to, uh, boost myself up to the point where it didn't matter. Anyway, so I I have a certain tolerance for digging. And it really depends on the game. Like, Terraria, I think I can be... Or Terraria. I think I can be a little bit more enticed into digging around and looking for stuff. Just because there's a lot more random loot. But the problem with, uh, Minecraft is, well, it's surely just... Dig, get resources, dig, get resources, dig, get re resources. And after some point, it's like, you know what? I just want to make a, like, really ridiculous, uh, like, roller coaster e subway track minecart deal. And I can't do that without, uh, without spending forever grinding for iron. Unless I, like, do some kind of weird, crazy machine to grind out the stuff for me. At which point, that just feels kind of odd as well, and I might as well just be on creative mode, summon it forever, and uh, deal with it that way. Which, eh, either way. I, I like it, uh, especially with, like, certain custom mod packs. Game can look really pretty, but, uh, it's just time. I, I'm, uh, I'm a low time consumption type person. If it's gonna take a while, I'm probably going to lose interest. Quick enough. What is this? Mystery box? Hey, our luck's been pretty good, uh, uh, in the past, crit chance minus minus. <laughs> Never mind. Oh well, it's not going to set us back too far. And when it comes down to it, eh, who cares? Okay, so let's get up. I don't think there are any secrets here. Blue EXP that I didn't need, money I didn't need. Purple teleporter. Now we're here. Okay, so this actually has some secrets for us. Wow. That was surprising. And unexpected. They all just, in unison, looked directly up at me. And that became a problem. Well, let's get the magnetism. Oh, he's not dead yet. Well, cats, I'm not sure what you do, but you maybe slow down things. Maybe enemies can't move through the cats. They can still attack. They just can't uh, move. Don't know. I, you know, I bet there's actually an entry on the Wikipedia page by this point. I actually feel kind of bad that I never filled that thing out with some of the information I picked up, considering I... At this point, I can't be the, like, foremost expert on Tower of Guns, but especially when this game came out, I was definitely probably one of the only people that had played it as much as I have. And even still, I think I'm one of the people with the longest-running series. I know there's still that one guy, what is it, I Heart Pie Gaming, I think? Uh, that's trying to go to 3,000, and realistically, I'm probably going to end up going to 3,000 eventually, but it's going to be a slow day before I get there. 
I mean, I think a Northern Lion. His his uh, Binding of Isaac series is what? Uh, let's see. I, I think his Binding of Isaac series is 800 long at this point. 3,000 Binding of Isaac is pretty hefty. And I don't think uh, I'd be able to do a comparable amount of episodes of Tower of Guns. Or if I do, well, it's going to be like five years from now. Because I've definitely stopped filming these as much. I guess if I just do nothing but Nightmare Mode, it'll go a heck of a lot faster. Also, if I film everything. Or not. You know, I just do ones without filming. Oh, that's a problem. Do not get stuck in those. That is where the pain happens. Well, uh, speaking of pain, onwards, and anything else in here? No. Quick grab it. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's a mite pickup in here. Like me some mite pickups. The extra base damage is going to be really fancy as far as this gun goes, because, well, this gun does a lot of damage to begin with. Now, I think if I'm shooting, yep, there we go. Secret super ultra sh shortcut using, uh, using the gun. Anyway. Yeah, this has got to be it for here, unless there's something behind the banners, which I highly doubt. The answer looks to be no. Who is surprised? Raise your hand. No hands are raised? Good. Shouldn't be surprising. Why is there still a hot pot bot there? How is he not dead yet? Well, let's, uh, grab the bounty. Not exactly much healing, but more than enough to, well, put me kind of back on the path to healthiness-ish. Okay, not much there. Kind of wish I still had the uh, healing jelly, but eh, eh, doesn't matter. Now we're going to be fighting the boss. Ooh, big ol' spike room. This is going to be a problem. At least we do, like, crazy town damage, but uh, this, is, this is going to be a problem in terms of... Eh, less, less of a problem than I was expecting it to be. Uh, he's almost dead, and apparently I move fast enough that... Uh, derail some threads while we're going through here. I guess what I should be doing is uh, going back around, because I move arguably about as fast as the big ol' spike room, but uh, it doesn't have to worry about getting stuck on stuff or avoiding spikes. And it's a big dumb missile, right? No, it's the bunker buster. Well, hey, it's better than the thread derailer. <laughs> I have to say that at least. So we're going to go with that. And I think this is... I think we've unlocked the Blather Skite crossbow as a result of this, which is pretty good. Our health is just a little shy of being top. We're going to get another health upgrade. I forgot you get those on Endless Mode. This is actually shaping out to be a nice run. And, oh, oh. Guess I'll just have to jump down to get that one. Is there a secret room in here? Another one. No, I don't remember there being. So, onwards and upwards. And, yep, now we have the Blather Skite crossbow. Sweet. 42 minutes. I guess add the... Talk what? Talkadrome? That's new. If it loads. Okay, so this is different. I've never been here before. So I guess uh, nothing but surprises. So it's the. It's like. Crazy ass boss, boss rush mode. Well, uh. Bunker Buster, please work out. Please don't kill me for being behind you. Looks like that's not the case. Wow, this is some kind of hellhole. Okay, so we've got several pipe organs. Main goal, uh, take out that one on that side. And also avoid missiles. Because if I can take this one out, it's going to chunk down most of the damage that we're going to have to deal with, or at least it's going to reduce it substantially. Okay, this guy's next. I honestly wonder uh, how, much, how many of these bosses we're going to have to fight, but... I really hope we don't have to fight a, uh, ooh, that would be rough. I really hope we don't have to fight a room of, uh, wall of turrets, but I, I guess if we were going to, this gun would be the second best for that situation. It's still a lot of sh shit shooting at us, but I'm very glad I have the, uh, extra shots for this one. Any more loot? Yep, there is. Probably not enough to get me back up to full, but, uh, take what I can get. Okay, so... A junk man might have been good for this run, but the self-harm would have kind of sucked. Okay. So let's see, was that the only one, or... Oh, that was. Interesting. Is there, like, a reward? Or is that the level? Well, I guess that was a pretty good level to uh, just have to fight a couple of... Hmm. Okay, so that's, like, the laser out. What's back here? Yes, I went into ghost mode to look around. So, I guess if you just go through the... Interesting. Well, you know what? 
I knew I was going to find it before I left. Let's go back to ghosting. Yeah, I, I knew there had to be at least one secret area in this entire level. I'm going to call that one good enough. Now here's the question. Are there any in here? Nope. Nothing down here. Or is there? Nope. Nothing down here. Nothing out here. Nothing out here. Anything in the starting zone. If not, this is kind of an odd room. I like it. I was always wondering if there was going to be a level where it's just nothing but a boss. I was expecting it to be a, like a giant weaponized hug bot, but, uh, you know, some dreams are just not meant to be. No matter how much you want them. Okay, so that was the only secret in this level that I could find. Maybe there will be another one. Maybe not. <laughs> wow. That's not a word. So, Togadrome. Co stage complete. Stage part. None. Secrets found 100%. Yes, yeah, so that's the only secret in the Togadrome. Kind of glad I went there. That was kind of fun. Uh, and we're going to the battlements too, which is strange, considering... Okay. Now, I think the only other achievement I know about that we could possibly get this run is the get to endless 12. Chances are I'm not going to get there. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Uh, we got a lot of bombs around here and a lot of spiky ball launchers. So just, I guess, hang out on the periphery and ho hopefully not a whole lot of bombs have decided to come this direction. There are a lot of them, though. And I guess I'll just, wow, take a lot of damage. Didn't even realize. Are you guys going to stop spawning so I can get the loot? There we go. Glad I got magnetism for this. Because, uh, oh. And everything has already disappeared. That's great. At least we're not that injured. We're kind of injured. And our weapon level's fine. I guess they count as an... In oh, yeah. At least they count as an environmental ha hazard instead of, like, an actual enemy. Anyway, so we've got a might pickup right there. It was going to be good. What else do we got around here? Oh, a lot of these guys do not like saw blade launchers on endless mode or harder difficulty because, boy, do they wreck my shit. Okay, hang back a little bit for me. I'm still taking a lot of damage. I'm oh, it's the twerps that are hitting me. Also, uh, not all of those mines are mine, come to think of it. Now, I'm sure there's a lot more scary around here. I'm just going to fire the bunker buster. Maybe it will clear things out a little bit. The problem is my nose has been, like, kind of on an itchy streak lately. And this specific section is not being kind to uh, the the good old schnoz. So I guess jump up above these guys. We're, we're doing great-ish. Oh, that's where the shots are coming from. I was wondering where all the bombs were. And there's any other ones? No. Okay, well, let's get the health bolt over here, get this stuff, and then go for the secrets, I guess. Not a whole lot else that we can use. We're staying pretty much even. Blu-ray XP is good. Which is great. Need a little bit more health, but uh, I don't know where we're gonna get that. We might actually make it up to um, not the top of the tower. That's not gonna happen. But uh, we might make it up to the other achievement for having exactly 888 gold or more than 888 gold. I don't know if I'll get that achievement. Well, at least we got more than enough jumps and jump height to never mind. I was gonna say uh, to get up to the secret area, but. I was wiggling around just a little bit too much. So I guess the easy answer is aim down, bounce yourself off the platform, get a lot of money. Uh, not enough. I think we're only at, what, 570? That's not so good, but we got two more secret areas here. Not sure what they are. Also this, max health plus plus. Can't complain about that. Especially because we've been uh, taking a lot of damage. Armor would be really nice if we could get, like, one or two armor pickups. Ooh, shrapnel trumpet. Trumpet. That's, that's a good one. Especially with a little bit of blue XP to get us all the way up to weapon level 3. Alright, our chances are improving rapidly. Hey, and it's this room again. Unfortunately, this gun is a wee bit crappy uh, early on-ish, but it levels fast. So that's good. Assuming that I can just get it leveled out. More might. Can't complain. Okay. Because once, once this is up to weapon level 5, it's just like one of the beastliest weapons ever. Even now, it's, I mean, pretty much like an insano version of the, uh, of the Constellation Charger. Oh man, at weapon level 5, man, this gun is good. I think most of you guys have hopefully seen that episode. That was a good episode. Yeah, there we go. It all spreads out and stuff. Get that. Our health. No, please don't. Please don't go. Oh man. Well, okay. Okay. 
What are we missing? A little bit of money. Difficulty plus plus. Really don't want to pick that up. Really don't need it. And yeah, so if you notice, they kind of turn into fireflies as they spread out. No way we're going to get up to the top of the tower with this level of jumps, I think. But, but, we can at least get over to this, which has almost nothing on it. But hey, you know what? It's still something, especially if we're trying to get the achievement with 888 money. Do not have enough jumps. If I had like two jump heights, like maybe could actually do it. But as it stands, it's probably not worth the effort. Mama Spinbot. That's an uncommon one. I, I maybe maybe the bosses have been rebalanced a little bit as far as uh this area specifically. So what do we got? We got the goggles. They still do nothing. It's always going to be an interesting question if they actually do something or not. It'd be hilarious if they uh, were like a difficulty reduction item. That'd actually be really cool, and just, like, you never know. But, uh, chances of the goggles doing that are extremely low. No secret in here. Let's just go. So how many secrets did I miss? Not a whole lot of them in that- well, and I did not get a whole lot of them in that level. And we're going to Hugbot Alley! Holy crap, this, like, this episode had Cake Down, had the Togadrome, which, you know, is new. The Hugbot Alley. I wonder what else we're gonna get be hilarious if we got something else too but chances are not okay now if I remember right there's actually a way to get into this thing I know it I I showed it on my video but for the life of me already forgotten how hey there it is what is it extra jump okay so that's gonna be good there's one I wonder what we're gonna get as far as uh, drops in Hugbot Alley because I I'm more than willing to bet that Joe rebalanced things in that regard as well. Is this the other secret? Yep. What is it? Blue XP and money. Well, we are 140 coins off of... I was going to say gold, but that's not exactly true. 140 coins off of the achievement for 888, which, you know, eh, might actually be within reach. Hard to say. Endless mode stage 10. If I can beat the maw, I think... I think if I beat the all, we'll be good across the board. It's the Commander's Belt, Speed, Money, and Item Charge. Can't complain. I'm gonna pick up the Commander's Belt, the Bunker... No, the Captain's Belt. The Bunker Buster is okay, but it's not that great. And this... Uh, the Time Stop will be good for getting out of sticky situations. And there we go. That's it for Hugbot Alley and all of its secrets. So we're doing pretty fantastic. Like, the first time through is crap, especially with the whole missing... You know, battlements are the uh, warehouse, but, you know, Endless 2 has really, really come together as far as giving us exactly what we want and need and whatnot. So, it's just murder rapid of all of these things. Really, the moment we got the shrapnel trumpet, our victory was maybe not determined or guaranteed, but it definitely become a, became a heck of a lot easier to achieve. This gun is nonsense. Oh, there's still purple crap coming after me. Oh, this guy is still alive, and he's still shooting at me. What do we got over there? More magnetism. Eh, could be worse. I'm just going to keep running away for a second while that stuff uh, proceeds to follow me. I'm also looking for money, because I assume there's going to be more money in here. I think. Anything in these walls? No. Anything in these walls? No. Anything in these walls? No. Let's fire the ground, take a little bit of falling damage, nothing meaningful. Hmm. Well, you know what? I wonder if it's pick up 888 gold or have. Well, either way, we'll probably... Oh, it was magnet range, not max range. Yeah, so I don't think there are any secrets in that room that I can remember. And it's this room. This room is uh, nice and simple-ish. Ooh, that's a lot of purple crap. Hearing noises, too. There's a lot of death around here. This is, all, I would actually argue, the perfect room for this gun by, like, an immeasurable margin. Just nothing but enemies and death. And we have taken a little bit of damage here. I've been a little bit indiscriminate as far as, like, my uh, movement goes. I probably could have been a little bit more careful about my dodging. Blue XP for days. Any money over here? The answer is barely any. We actually didn't make a whole lot of money from this room. So much blue EXP though. Like, look at all that. Anyway, let's 
see what's in the first secret area. More money. Come on. And it looks like there are a lot of... Oh, that's what was hitting me while I was running around that I wasn't paying attention to. There's a bunch of saw blade launchers up and around this general area. Well, can't complain about that. They died pretty effectively. Eventually. The, the one problem is this gun has terrible single target range at the distance. Also, there's another secret area that I think I found recently-ish. Difficulty minus minus goodbye. Do not want. Unless there's actually some tangible benefit for it, but for the life of me, I actually don't know. What is that over there? Is that something new? Something old. Oh, it's the Cartesian Lattice. Eh, I'll just get that as a random drop. I'm not trying to pad out my collection anymore because, well, collection went away. And I can't complain about it because we're actually finding new things as a result of me losing my save file. So, you know, I, I want to get to 3,000, but I get the feeling we're going to be doing a lot of other things first, many of which involve resetting everything down. Now, we've got a lot of twerps pea shooting at us. Shops are for wings. That must be uh, the stay in the air for like half a minute or something like that. Anyway, two might upgrades. Really happy about that. Really, really just like our drops have been substantially better. I, I guess I did get a luck pickup somewhere along the way. And we're good there. Our jumps are good. Our everything is good. How's our money doing? 861. We are almost there. Oh, there's another twerp somewhere around here. I guess really logistics is the place if you want to get good use out of this gun specifically. Because so many targets. Such a target-rich environment, really. Okay, so we've got a couple of secrets in here. And I want to get to the... Um, boop. I actually kind of miss... I, I think I said this already, but I actually really miss the old motivational block design. It This makes more sense, but the other one was, I don't know, nicer looking, in a way. Oh, let's see what's over here. Lots of money, lots and lots and lots of money. Thousand. Okay, so I guess we did, in fact, get the achievement somewhere along the way. I just was not paying attention. Ugh. I was not paying a whole lot of attention. Now, let's see where that... There it is. Lots of secrets, and now that we have uh, such high amounts of jumps... Hey, you are... Shoot. I think... I think this is the first time I've had over a thousand coins on a run. Awesome. This is also a completely new room configuration. Which is cool. Uh, also scary. But that goes without saying. We got a lot of flamethrowers. We got a lot of mine layers. We've got a lot of ET guns who actually have a name. I just don't know what the name is. I should probably ask uh, the Wikipedia page and look that up, but I kind of like calling them E.T. guns. They make me think of E.T. with the, just like, two spread out eyes and the, you know, purple powers. I think E.T.'s powers were, like, purpley looking. It's actually kind of hard for me to remember, but hey, whatever. Oh, man. I actually hope I get a second weapon mod somewhere along the way, because I'd love to see this gun with... Um, I, I'd love to see this gun with mine, potentially. Unless it would invalidate the spread shot effect, which actually would be incredibly sad, because, uh, well, I bet I could probably crash my computer <laughs> uh, doing all mines forever. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these guys down here. What is it? Speed looks like it's the only thing as far as drops go. Can't complain about it. Oh, extra jump added. That's different. I guess it must have dropped just as I went through. Hello, secret. Uh, new gun, Kigerator. Apparently I've found quite a lot of secrets in this run. Wow, this, this run just in general has been incredibly kind to us. Anyway, I think there's one other secret for us to get in this area. Oh. Maybe more? This is confusing. I didn't expect to see this guy in here. There's another one. The question is, why are there enemies up here? Maybe it's like a haha, -ha, there's no secret here. Oh, this is the exit? What the heck is the uh, purple teleporter down there for then? That's confusing and intriguing. Let's get down, not take any damage. So I guess this puts us up high? Oh, no, no, it just puts us up where the exit is. Well, that's interesting. And I think there's actually another secret area up even higher. Uh, can't be reached by that direction, but I think if I go all the way up 
I'm not actually going to grab the secrets because, well, there's no easy way for me to get up the here. I just don't have enough jumps. But I want to look anyway, so there's barely anything. Well, you know what? Uh, that's, that's kind of the point of discovery. Nice to check things out, and let's go down here. I guess I should probably turn on walk again. Walk. And still have yet to actually use the Catan spell. Probably should use it against the, against the boss. But, oh. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, we do not actually have extra armor. I think that's the only thing we don't have, come to think of it. Well, at least we're going to be able to do uh, crazy town damage. Or not crazy town damage, but we're going to be able to hit all the bits pretty easily. The only question is, um, how do, how do we fight the boss proper? I wonder if jumping is going to be the most effective. I wonder if... Have I even fought this boss, actually, come to think of it, on 1.1? It seems like he's a little bit weaker. Maybe I've just been very lucky at not hitting the uh, spiky pillars. But uh, maybe they've been rebalanced a little bit, so they're significantly less threatening. All right, we're on to phase two, and he's already dead. Wow. This gun is crazy. Uh, scratch the nose, because the nose don't care. Let's see what we got around here. Not a whole lot. Extra jump height, like that. What is this? Turbo button, don't want that. Captain's belt is probably better. I'm not exactly in a position to say one way or another. We did lose a little bit of blue EXP there. Maybe that's his new threat. He does less damage, but uh, yeah, he he may, may do less damage, but really chunks down your weapon level, which actually would make a lot of sense. Anyway, we're going in the sa Sanctum a second time, and uh, my confidence is at an all-time high. The gumball machine is going to fall beneath the might of this gun for sure. I actually kind of wish I had turned this on to a luck plus plus run, because, well, uh, things would have just gotten really silly at that point. Anyway, let's just murder the crap out of everything. I think I got hit by a bullet. Stop over here. Hello, everybody. Uh, have you prepared your wills? Okay, so I should probably actually go places and do things, and mostly pick up stuff. So picking up stuff that's the valuable lesson to be had here. And apparently, the uh, shrapnel tur nah, shrapnel turret, shrapnel trumpet, is all sorts of crap for taking out the little guys. You'd think, oh, it you know shoots all sorts of little projectiles and stuff. Well, apparently the little projectiles miss very easily and can only hit big targets. Maybe they have, like, small hitboxes. Wouldn't be surprised, actually. Anyway, a little bit of blue XP. We're maxed out on this again. We're maxed out on health. Uh, we've got a lot more luck than we had. I think we've got, what, two luck upgrades now? Oh, and even if we uh, have to fight the invisible laser guys, we are going to be pretty golden as far as everything goes. Yeah, like, as much as I like a lot of the other secret guns, this one takes the cake as far as, like, power, I think. Because the GG9000 really kills my frame rate, and it stops it being fun. This one, at least, there's a bit of a challenge. It's just like, whoop. Anyway, took some damage there. Not keen on that. I should probably actually just stand still and let it all come to me. Hello. What do we got here? A lot of stuff. Blue XP, health, twerps, twerps, twerps. Can, can you just, can you just go away? I don't, I don't want you around right now. I'm very hungry. Wow. I should probably go have a sandwich after this. Probably most definitely, really. Okay. And a little bit more blue XP, though there's still a sizable amount of doubt on whether or not that's even necessary. And we're in here again. Saw blades for days. At least none of them are pointed backwards, but uh, that's what the cannons are for, apparently. There's uh, cannons lining that thingamabob. Bounce would be insane with this gun, actually, potentially. Anyway, uh, we're doing pretty good. Don't see any more uh, specific pickups, but... Eh. And there's one more saw blade over there. Okay, so what do we got around? Health, health, health. Extra jump. Sweet. This is definitely going to be uh, an easier fight against the maw than the previous one, because I'm just going to be able to float around and uh, murdenate that, that jerk. What do we got over here? Oh, it's a weapon mod. Stun. The one problem I potentially have with this gun and stun. Eh, let's try it. Worst comes to worst, name of science. But, um. Do they firefly out? They still firefly out with stun. That's great news. Because I was really afraid that I'd lose, like, the uh, really effective part where all the shots spread out into tiny little bits. 
because I got stunned, but no, in this case, this is pretty damn good. Uber would have been really nice. I think Rapid Fire would have been really nice. Uh, spread would have been completely pointless, but, ah, eh, it's life. Now, I think I can largely just float above the gumball machine. Let's see if I can kill him while still in the air. Yes, I can. Took some falling damage, but it was worth it. Uh, surely for the hilarity standpoint. Plus, there's some stuff over here that might be able to make it better. Answer is no. Well, uh, the goggles still do nothing. And let's get through. Our health is fine. Our blue XP is fine. I'm not going to go out of my way to kill any hugbots. Not for the small amount of loot that would, I would get. Uh, especially with the difficulty increase. 100% secrets found in the sanctum. That's great. Great news. Now to the crow's nest. I don't think the crow's nest counts for endless mode level 12. We'll see. Ah, it does. So I guess if I beat this, I get the achievement. That's good. <laughs> and I said I'd do these as montages on how to get the achievement. And the answer really is just uh, be very lucky and get the shrapnel trumpet. Now, yeah, there weren't any secrets in there. I actually have no idea if there are any secrets in the crow's nest. I'd have to look that up. I know there's actually a really nice uh, text guide, like text and picker, picture guide, picker guide, text and picture guide for version 1.0, as far as the secrets of Tower of Guns, like where they're all hidden. I'm sure it's being added to as far as like 1.1 1, 1 .1 goes, not 1.0. Uh, anyway, let's just get all these shots off and I'll, I'll try and remember to use the captain's belt before this fight ends. Mostly once the bullets start flying, I think. Ooh, wow, that spin bot really messed my day up. Okay, so, interestingly enough, freeze time does nothing in terms of that, but Ma was about to go down. It took a really hefty amount of damage from... Oh man, I wanted that loot. Oh well, it took a really hefty amount of damage from just getting hit by a couple of things, but his life, especially at a higher difficulty level, we're bubble level four, eh, four bars missing, we'll be okay. We'll definitely be okay. Man, I want a sandwich. I wish this run would end. I guess I'm going to have to split it up based on uh, everything. So, if I guess this is a two-parter episode. Greetings somewhere along the way. Hi, people. I like I like you for watching my videos. Anyway, let's murder the crap out of this thing. And we already didn't know the story, so let's just sit back, relax, stretch our arms out, you know, go for a walk, maybe. Ugh. Ah, uh, celebratory stretch. Good run. I wish this would go faster, though, if you're, like, doing it on endless mode, because I, I already know the story. 